guys, so I wanted to review the Bondi Sands Self Tanning Foam in Dark. I have reviewed Bondi Sands on my channel before and I want to do this review a little bit differently and more in depth than the last one, uh, but hopefully I won't make it a massively long video neither. So I am gonna skip straight to it. I'm going to be applying this with the Bondi Sands Tanning Mitt. So I'll only be applying this to one of my arms and one of my legs and hopefully that way then we'll be able to get a good idea of the overall look and colour of the tan and um, while also seeing how long it lasts by giving a day-to-day -day count on how it wears. I won't be reapplying the tan throughout the week neither because I want to just show how well it'll wear after one application. It also does say that we can reapply it after 30 minutes for its deepest tan um, I might do that on one body part, so I can do just one layer on my arm and then I can reapply it on my legs after the 30 minutes as it's stated. So yeah, so I ramble on enough, but essentially that's what it's going to be in this video. I'll give a day-to-day -day count over the next five to seven days on how well the tan lasts, how well it wears off as well, and the overall colour of the tan. I'll let you know the smells and little pointers if there is any to note throughout the video, probably just from text on the screen if I don't mention it in person. Okay, so I have applied the tan onto this arm, obviously, and so far this is the immediate difference. See if I can show you a little bit better. So there's my hand. Yes. Sorry, I have my hair bow on my hand. I'm not the best at applying tan. We will establish this as you will see. Um, I've also done my leg, which I'll show you it's a bit better in a minute, but my leg is the one that I'm going to be reapplying the tan in a half an hour. So far, there isn't much of a smell to it. It's I've literally just applied it and it feels like it's dried already, so that's quite good. Um, yeah, it's gone on quite evenly and smoothly as well. Uh, quite happy so far. Okay, <clears throat> so excuse the fact that I have my pajama bottoms on at the top here, but this tan, this leg obviously isn't tanned, and this is with two layers of the Bondi Sands Tan. Uh, so I put on one layer and then after half an hour I reapplied it and this is the colour so far. Never mind, terrible application. It's a little bit streaky. I noticed putting on the second layer of tan was a little bit difficult. Um, in certain places it tended to not go so great. That could have been me though, that might not be the tan. But a big difference so far. I'm just curious to see how much of this actually washes off. So I'm going to leave it on now for six hours and then I'll get back to you guys and let you know what it looks like after that. Okay guys, so then this is the tan. This was just one layer and this is after it has been washed off. Okay, so this is the tan once I have it washed off. My paleness, I don't know why I need to show you that look. Yeah, this is the colour difference. This is obviously my leg with the two layers, so I reapplied after half an hour. Sorry, my cash. So, uh, yeah, this is the colour after reapplying it after half an hour and then washing it off six to seven hours afterwards. Um, and that is the colour on day one.
on the Bondo Sands tan uh, is that it wore off so well it didn't leave my skin like patchy and it didn't really stick to any of my dry skin too badly compared to other tans that I've used um, I actually thought it wore off really well like one of the best tans that I've had to wear off um, even on my legs with the two layers of the tan I thought it wore off really really well uh, I actually put more of it on all over my body this time around so I have that on at the moment but I have to wash it off I haven't showered off the guide color yet so that is why my neck is a different color to my face it does smell a little bit uh, I have had it on for quite a while now so when it mixes with like my body smell it does sort of overpower a little bit but it just has that normal tan smell and it's not too strong uh, longevity it had a nice sort of wear off throughout the week obviously you just reapply it if you want to have more tan on um, yeah overall I really like it transfer wise um, it hasn't stained my sheets or anything like that. I have slept in the tan and didn't stain my sheets, which was great. Mila, my four month old, has um, left her head marks on my arms from feeding her and everything like that. Obviously I haven't washed off the guide color yet, so that's just something that I was mindful of. But once I have washed off the guide color, that didn't obviously transfer onto her. So that was great. Um, but yeah, I think that's mainly everything I can say about this tan. If there is anything else that I've forgotten, I will pop it off on the screen. Otherwise, I think that's it and I'll leave this here. I hope you found this review helpful and I hope that it was accurate enough to your findings too if you do go ahead and purchase this town. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!